Hi! Welcome back to Revive Nations Kids, where we revive, renew, and restore me and you. Today's episode is amazing. We have a guest. His name is Fox. And guess what, kids? He's going to learn all about friendship. Ooh, are you ready? <laughs> so Fox, what was it like being on the last episode of Revive Nations Kids? The superhero stuff was really fun. Yeah, I really remember that. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, do you have any nines? Um, yes, I do. Hey, excellent. Okay, your turn. Do you have any sevens? Uh, no, no sevens. Go fish. So Fox. Yeah? Have you been able to make any friends on set? Um, friends? Yeah, like buddies, amigos, people you hang out with. Uh, like you're kind of doing with me right now. Uh, do you have any fives? Uh, I do not. Uh, so, go fish. Uh, go fish. Do you have any fours? Fours. Yes, I do. Thank you. Um, no, I haven't really thought of that. But you're my friend, right? Oh, wait a second. My phone is ringing. Hello? Oh, Pastor Sean, hi. Oh, okay. Um, you need me right now? I'm kind of with Fox. Oh, it's really important. Okay, I'm gonna be on my way. I'm coming. Is everything okay? Yes. Well, well, actually, no. Uh, you know what? I really have to get going. Something important came up. I'm really sorry to have to stop playing cards with you, but I'm sure you'll be okay, right? You, you can find someone else to play with. In fact, you know what? So take the pin, put it on and press it, and I'm sure you're gonna make some friends and you'll, you'll find someone to, to play cards with, okay? I'll, I'll see you later. Uh, bye. <sighs> I'm all alone now. You know what? I'm gonna go make friends. How hard can that be? Oh, hi, I'm Fox. Well, okay, dude. I guess nowadays we just go around telling what we are, huh? Uh, hi, I'm Worm. Oh, no, sorry. My name is Fox. Yeah, totally, that makes sense. I was like, he's not like any Fox I've seen. Uh, let's restart. Restarts? Uh, okay. Hi, I'm Fox. A human person, kid. Oh, hello. I am Oscar the Worm. Totally awesome red worm. So, your name's Oscar? Yeah, I just said that. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so, what is it like being a worm? It's pretty sweet, not gonna lie. I mean, yesterday I saw this garbage bag with a hole in it and went to town. <laughs> Ew, you eat garbage? Ew, don't yuck my yum, man. Let me guess, you eat fresh fruit or something gross like that. I bet you even eat your meat hot. Well, obviously, because that's how you're supposed to eat your meat. And you're not even able to eat rotten fruit and vegetables. Now that's gross. You can only eat rotten meat and vegetables. That's when all the best flavors come out. So... Can we please change subject? Is there anything else about being a worm that's pretty cool? Well, you see my cool hair and how it stands up? Yeah, that is cool. You probably use gel, though. Gel? Never heard of this stuff. I make my own super, special, slippery, sloppity, goopy, juicy, oozy, slimy mucus. Juicy, oozy? Ew! Man, you're real judgmental for a dry-skinned human fox. Well, I'm really sorry, just I'm not really used to these kind of things. Do you want to play cards? I really love Go Fish or Crazy 8. Seriously, dude? We could play a memory game if you'd like. Not cool, man. What do you mean? Hands. Yeah, we have the same number of cards. Hands! Hands! I don't got any, dude. I think you need to find someone else to play with. I'm gonna use my yucky, ew, slime to travel underground, which is cooler than walking. Besides, how can two people walk together when they disagree on everything? Sayonara, dude. Good luck finding a friend. I'm just not the hombre, my man. Well, that was awkward. Man, this making friends stuff is really hard. If only I had a friend who really understands me. 
Oh well, let's see who else I could find. Bib. Oh, hello there. My name is Fox. What's yours? Who wants to know? Um, I do. Why, I owe you money or something? Oh, uh, well, I just thought we could be friends. Me? Friends with you? Don't make me laugh. Oh wait, too late. <laughs> What's so funny? I mean, have you seen you? What's that supposed to mean? Let's be honest. Why would I want to be friends with you? Well, I have cards here and I just thought... Wait, I have cards here. Boring! Look, kid, I'm a grown man in a suit and I can't be bothered with being friends with you or anybody. That's sad. Everyone should at least have one friend. I feel bad. What did you say? I, uh, you're making me angry now, kid. You think I'm sad? You know what's sadder? Wanting to make friends and not finding any. That's sad, kid. So, who's the sad one now? You've been rejected. I, uh, I uh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe you can think about that by yourself. <laughs> I really am alone. Why won't anybody be my friend? I just want to go home. Take me home. Bip. Hey, 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 hijo. My name is Constable Carlos. Are you okay? What's upsetting you? Well, I'm Fox, and no one wants to be my friend. And now I'm in jail. Pequeño Zorro, escúchame. Listen to me. You're not in jail. This is a police station, and you know, sometimes friendship isn't as great as we expect. How? Everyone wants friends. Look around. A lot of people at the police station here who are in trouble are because of their friends. Really? How? You have to be careful about the friends you choose because if people around you are making not so good choices, it can influence you to make not good choices too. Really? Of course, if your friends around you are making fun of people, then you'll probably make fun of people. If your friends like to steal candy from the grocery store, you'll probably steal from the grocery store. And if your friend is really, really grumpy and angry, you'll probably be grumpy and angry too. So, like the last guy I saw, it was a good thing that I wasn't his friend? It's important to choose friends who help you do the right things and to have fun in a good way so you don't end up locked up with me. <laughs> So, it's better to find a good friend who believes the same things as you than just anybody? Si, sí, claro, be careful. If you spend time with friends who make bad choices, it might make it harder for you to make good choices. So choose friends who are nice and believe in the same things that you do and do good things with you. Okay, Constable Car Carlos, that makes sense. Of course it does. Now, I have to interrogate some suspects be good and find good friends, Zoro. Okay, thanks. So, I can't just be friends with anybody. I have to find the right friend for me. I want to find a friend that cares about how I feel, listens to me when I talk, and helps me when I need help. They also need to be cool, smart, and funny, just like me. Bip. Revive, renewed, restore today. Hello young one, welcome to my palace. I am King Solomon, the wisest in the land. How can I advise you today? Oh, hello King Solomon. Well, I'm Fox okay. and let me cut the chase. Do you believe in God? Mm -hmm. Are you nice? And do you want to be my friend? Yes, I believe in God and I am nice as any king. I think you are looking for a friend, is that right? Yeah, I need to find a friend who has something in common with me. Hmm. A friend who isn't grumpy. Very important. And a friend who believes in the same things I do, mm -hmm. so they can help me be a better person and do the right choices. Ah, friendship, longing of a soul. I once wrote, perfume and incense bring joy to their heart and blessedness of a friend spring from their heartfelt advice. Huh? Having a good friend who gives a caring advice is like having an extra happiness in our heart. Hmm. 
It's like when you smell something really nice, it feels good inside. Friends who share kind words make us feel warm and happy too. Great, you give good advice, right? You could be my friend. I also very wisely said, iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. So you could be my friend, right? Which means friend can be like a partner, making each other better every day. So you could be my friend and help me be better. My king, the people, they need your wisdom. Please come. Oh, busy, busy, busy. I must leave young fox. See you shortly. Okay, bye. Well, he's too busy to be my friend, I guess. I need to find someone who could partner with me and give me good advice. Man, I don't know if I could find somebody that could do all these things. Let's see, Boing. Paul, the Apostle Paul. I'm so happy to see a familiar face. <laughs> well, hello, Fox. I'm happy you're happy. Uh, what's up? What's been going on today? Well, I've been ditched by Pastor Sarah, rejected oh. by a worm, made fun of by a grumpy man, oh, yeah. went to the police station, and huh? got ignored by King Solomon. Well, that sounds like a packed schedule to me. I'm starting to think I'll never find a friend. Well, people are confusing. One day you're the favorite person, you're the best friend, and the next day they act like you don't exist. Yeah. Listen, Fox, what are you gonna do? I told the Colossians this, that, you know, we gotta bear with one another, we gotta deal with each other and our junk because we've all sinned, we've all made mistakes, and so we have to forgive one another like Christ forgave us. So you're saying that I should forgive the worm and the grumpy man and all the people who didn't want to be my friend? Yep. Sometimes, Fox, that's just how it is. You can't control what other people do or say, and no matter how hard you want someone to be your friend, no matter how desperately to try to make someone your friend, sometimes you just can't... I can't change that. Yeah, you can't change it. So don't hold it against them. Forgive them, move on, and find someone who actually wants to be your friend. That's better advice. Apostle Paul, mm -hmm. will you be my friend? Well, Fox, you can have many friends, but only one Paul. Paul the Apostle Paul. Listen, I love and I spiritually cover a lot of people, but I'm not necessarily their friend, you know? So you don't want to be my friend? Listen, Fox, I'm in the business of being a spiritual covering. And I see that you've got your spiritual covering covered. Rejected again. Now listen here, kid. You do got a friend, and this friend, he's closer than a brother. And he's been rejected more times than you could even count on your little hands. And he's been with you all along and cares about you more than you could ever care for him. Huh? My brother Phoenix? Ay, 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 Fox. I said closer than a brother, not your actual brother. Jesus? Bingo! <laughs> I think you got it. And I also think it's time for you to go. Wait, what? Why? <laughs> Boing!
back. Hey, Fox, I'm really sorry about that. There was an emergency, but let's keep playing cards. Oh, I, I lost them along the way. Oh, well, that's okay. What did you learn on your adventure? That um, Jesus is my friend and um, he's been with me the whole time. Mm, you don't sound very sure about that. Well, I don't know. I feel pretty alone. Well, most times our feelings don't really mean much, especially when we believe. Huh? Well, Fox, the Bible tells us that Jesus is our shepherd and watches over us, and he's also our comforter in difficult times, and he loves and cares for his friends. That doesn't really make me feel any better because I don't really have any real friends. Jesus is real. You're spending too much time thinking about your feelings. You need to spend more time actually believing. How about you close your eyes and you think back and you believe in Jesus and see whether you were really alone this whole time. Well, there's nothing to lose. It's okay, no worries. I'll just go make friends. How hard can that be? Going well, that was awkward. Man, this making friend stuff is really hard. If only I had a friend who really understands me. Oh well, let's see who else I could find. Bip. I really am alone. Why won't anyone be my friend? Just take me home. Take me home. Bip. So, I can't just be friends with anybody, I have to find the right friend for me. I want to find a friend who cares for my feelings, listens to me when I talk, and helps me when I need help. They also have to be cool, smart, and funny, just like me. Bip. Well, he's too busy to be my friend, I guess. I need to find someone who could partner with me and give me good advice. Man, I don't know if I could find someone who could do all these things. Let's see. Boing. Jesus really was my friend, and he's been with me this whole time. Hi kids, Vanessa here. Are you ready to worship with me today? Remember, Jesus is our best friend ever. He's always there for us. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry. Everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless shame we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Let's sing that again. Ready? What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry. Everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless shame we bear. Oh, because we do not care. Everything to God in prayer. Thank you for worshiping with me today. See you next time. See, Fox? Jesus never rejected you. In fact, he really is the best choice 
for a real friend. Jesus is always with you and he always gives the best advice and he leads you on the most fun adventures. Pastor, I didn't know Jesus was my friend and maybe the kids at home don't know either. Could you please pray for them? Sure. Okay, let's close our eyes. Father, I thank you for all the children watching right now. Lord, you are their friend. I pray that they will know that you are their real friend that they can depend on at all times. And Lord, when they're at school or at church or wherever they are, Father, if they feel alone or they feel like someone has rejected them, I pray, Lord, that you would strengthen their heart and remind them that you are with them and that you are the best friend that they could ever have. Lord, we pray that you would heal the hearts of all the children for times when maybe they have felt rejected and someone didn't want to play with them. And may they know, Lord, that you are the best friend they could ever have and you will always be with them at all times. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Oh, my phone is ringing. Um, I might have to leave you again. Are you gonna be okay? Of course. Jesus is a friend of mine and I'm never alone. Jesus is a friend of mine. I have a friend in Jesus. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. He taught me how to live my life as it should be. He taught me how to turn my cheek when people laugh at me. I've had friends before, and I can tell you that he's one who will never leave you flat. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. I have a friend in Jesus. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. He taught me how to pray and how to save my soul. He taught me how to praise my God and still play rock and roll. The music may sound different, but the message is the same. It's just an instrument to praise his name. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. I have a friend in Jesus. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is a friend of mine. I tried to run and hide, but Jesus came and found me and he touched me down inside. He is like a mountain, he always gets his man, and he'll zap you any way he can. Zap. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. I have a friend in Jesus. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. He loves me when I'm right. He loves me when I'm wrong. He loves me when I waste my time by writing silly songs. He loves me when I'm quiet and I have nothing to say. He'll love me when I'm perfect if I ever get that way. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. I have a friend in Jesus. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. I have a friend in Jesus. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus. Jesus is a friend of mine. Kids, what an amazing episode. Jesus really is our best friend. Ah, and if you want to be my friend, make sure to share this video with a friend, like it, and subscribe. Bye, kids.